Mr. President, Madam First Lady, President Carter, President Clinton, Congressman Lewis, and to all program participants, uh, this is an unusual moment in our world history as we observe this 50th anniversary. And I am so thankful for the opportunity to really thank America for helping to realize the dream, although I must say it is not yet realized. And so we must redouble and quadruple our efforts. So much has been said today, and I was five years old in 1963 when Dad delivered his message. And so I'm blessed that we were able to bring our daughter, who's hopefully paying attention, but five, three years, five years old, so that she can appreciate this history and continue to participate. There are two quick other things that I want to say. I've been speaking all week, as many of us have. But I'm reminded that Dad challenged us. That's what he did, challenged our nation to be a better nation for all God's children. I'm reminded that he taught us the power of love, agape love, the love that is totally unselfish. You love someone if they're old or young, rich or poor, black or white, Native American or Hispanic American or Latino. It does not matter. You love them because God calls us to do that. Love and forgiveness is what we need more of, not just in our nation, but really throughout the world. And so I want to rush to tell you, Dad said the ultimate measure of a human being is where one stands, not in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. He went on to say that on some questions, cowardice ask, is a position safe? Expediency ask is a position politic. Vanity ask is a position popular. But that's something deep inside called conscience. Ask is a position right. So we often talked about sometimes we must take positions that are neither safe nor popular nor politic, but we must take those positions because our conscience tells us they are right. I finally say this afternoon, We've got a lot of work to do, but none of us should be any ways tired. Why? Because we've come much too far from where we started. You see, no one ever told any of us that our roads would be easy, but I know our God, our God, our God did not bring any of us this far to leave us. Thank you, God bless you.